First of all, a big thanks to PCBWay for making this video possible. PCBWay is currently hosting the fifth PCB design contest where you can submit original designs to be judged and potentially win cash prizes, store credit, and a Raspberry Pi 4. You heard right. Those have been hard to find recently. If you are interested in looking into this, I'll leave a link down below. The last day for submission of any of your projects is December 31st, 2022. Get your design submitted and good luck to all of you. Guys, what's up? It's Matt with 86, and let's start this off by acknowledging how subjective audio is. We all hear a little different, we all see a little different, we all taste a little different, and these are just things that are about, you know, human nature for the most part. What sounds good to me may not be your cup of tea, but companies that lead the industry like Sonos or Bose or Beats or JBL, they've been doing this for a long time and developing appeasements that just kind of reach across the board for most people. Quality products usually come at quality pricing, but occasionally small breakthrough products emerge at lower pricing. This is the Mayano AU MH5. 501. No points for nomenclature, that's a pretty big name to say. By my scale, they weigh just south of 300 grams at about 294 grams. They're reference monitor headphones, and the closest mainstream comparison I can give you to think about are probably Audio-Technica's ATM20Xs. I'm very fond of those myself, I like them a lot, and I think that they're probably the closest thing to compare this to. And like the M20Xs, the MH501 has a captive cable also. This will always be disheartening to me, because I really would like companies to move away from that and give us the option to swap these cables. In a confined area, it's all right, no ability to replace it though, that's definitely a negative for me. It does come with a removable quarter inch TRS jack to a 3.5 millimeter TRS jack, making swapping between like a mixer output very simple to go right to something more simple like a microphone with a 3.5 millimeter jack. It's worth noting the whole headphone is a little bit stiff feeling. It's not terribly so, but enough so to make mention of this. The ear pads are a circumoral design, but they're a little cramped for my big ol' ears. It's not that they're uncomfortable by any means, but just a bit stiff and a little bit snug in my opinion. The headphone is collapsible for easy portability and expandability via plastic sliders on either side is an option. It can fit some of the largest melons out there, I'm sure. I'll avoid regurgitating specifications to you and just leave it at this. I can detect subtle audio cues I had not previously noticed in certain things while using these. And that's part of the point of having audio reference monitors. So I'll chalk that up as a big success for what they aim to do with these. I tested my usual range of songs formats, but there was one very informative test that these passed that I have to give a massive thumbs up to. I brought out my vintage Nat King Cole vinyl, went raw audio into the back of my turntable, and the sound was gorgeous. It was ear butter. And for this very reason, they get a massive thumbs up for me because that's exactly what I want. Besides this, I listen to more modern music, some of my favorites from streaming services, uh, digital copies of music that I own, things that are uploaded on YouTube to try to get an idea of what things sounded like across the range with them. I also listen to some of my own voice recordings to try to see what I could hear in the background. I know my office can be really echoey and pick up some pretty ambient and sounds, animals walking around, air conditioning, whatever. But that's where I just had to go, yuck, I don't know how you guys do it and listen to me sometimes, because man. Look, if you're getting into amateur audio production or simply want to be able to monitor audio, these are pretty on the nose. I'd like to see some changes in the future, like no captive cables, larger, softer ear pads, lightweight metal sliders on the side, but these get a huge thumbs up for achieving the goal and being competitive in the market for what they are. Hope this was somewhat helpful and useful to you guys. I'll see you in the next video I do. You guys have a great day, night, whatever it is.